Scott Nago is joining me now from the uh, the elections office, the chief elections officer. So he has been dealing with this all day, all afternoon, all morning as to uh, some of the problems that have been having, even though most of them have been essentially resolved. First, why don't we just talk about the Big Island and break down for me what you first heard this morning was happening on the Big Island. Yeah, initially we heard it was three polling places that had poll book issues. Two of them were, um, they just didn't find the poll book. One of them, the poll books weren't there. And then uh, earlier, uh, later this afternoon, we found out it was roughly 11 polling places and then through the proclamation we learned there's over 50 percent of the polling places. So then in light of that uh, the governor had to step in. Tell me about that. Yeah the, the only person that can extend voting hours by proclamation is the governor and uh, that's what he did. Now how is that going to have an effect? Um, we, we heard about the delay in in the uh, elections results being released. Break down for me what's going to happen because of that. Well, we can't release results until all polls are closed. Uh, therefore, because the polls aren't going to close to 7.30, we can't release results until after 7.30 or all polls are closed. Where are you hearing as far as where are these polls uh, were delayed and, and, and by how much? You know, we don't know. Right now, we have to debrief. Um, we're going to have a meeting with the counties to see what happened, break everything down, you know, make sure that this doesn't happen again. But we, initially, we heard it was on the west side. And uh, the latest we heard was 8.30 that it opened up. So what about any other uh, problems? You mentioned that the, some of the polling uh, books were, were missing. They found those. What other types of issues um, have you seen happen that you had to address this morning? You know, we have our normal um, issues. These are precinct officials. They're volunteers. They do it twice uh, every two years. They get paid $85. They provide civic duty, too. You know, they provide a service to the voters. And um, basically, you know, they're, they're trying their hardest, but, you know, they're not professionals. And they, they're doing their best to get things done, but, you know, things happen. And... Um, they're just trying their hardest and to provide that service. So the Hawaii County uh, County Clerk, she's uh, the one who is the point person there on the big line. Have you been able to contact her? What kind of communication have you had with her, and what has she been able to tell you? You know, we've been in constant constant communication with her. Um, the latest was, you know, um, she was. We, we urged her to let our, her voters know that the, the hours were extended. Also. Um, you know, let, get the word out through the media that our precinct officials would be working uh, overtime. You know, we want to thank them for putting in this service. You know, it's not something they signed up for, but they will be working <laughs> till 7.30, and, you know, we appreciate that. Uh, this has got to be tough for you guys. I mean, you've got hundreds of thousands of ballots to count to begin with. Uh, as you mentioned, this is not something that you can get all the answers for right now. Yeah, it's, um, like I said, after this election, we're going to go uh, review the process, make sure that... Um, we, we, we um, find out what happened and make sure it doesn't happen ever again. Do you have any other concerns as to the security of the, the balloting process? I'm sure there are people that are, uh, you know, wondering, hey, you know, is this going to have an effect on um, how safe the count is and, you know, where the ballots are going and the security of those ballots? You know, fortunately, the system that we have in place has a lot of safeguards. Everything is sealed. There's redundancy. There's checks and balances. So as far as uh, security, we don't see that as an issue. Okay. All right. Thanks so much. Scott Nago from the... Uh, from the elections office giving an update on that.